Welcome to our next video. We'll be talking about estimating better. We want to know this formula and we want to calculate this formula. We want to arrive at this very formula and see what we can do about it. So there is the better. There is an assets better, which is again, of course, the better of debt times the proportion of debt plus better of equity. The equity is better multiplied by the proportion of equity. So this is self-evident, to put it this way, this formula. Again, the proportion of debt, of course, is the market value of debt. It's the market value. It's not the book value. So you need to be careful about this. Here, D is not equal to book value. It is equal to market value. So the market value of debt divided by the market value of debt plus equity is this portion. So if we take a closer look at taxes, we need to know that this better, that the assets better, is of course this formula. How come? Because debt is tax deductible, whereas equity is not. So we need to multiply by one minus tax rate, minus marginal tax rate. But we only multiply debt. We do not multiply equity with min one minus t, but we only multiply debt by one minus t to look at what we have after paying taxes. So it is this. But now, what's the meaning of better? Better is better stands for risks, but the better of debt is risk free. Or to put it to put it this way, there is no risk incurred by debt, which means better of debt is equal to zero. So we can just skip it totally. Which means that the assets better is only this part of the formula. Only this part. Which again if we look at this, if we look at this portion, and if we cancel equity, if we cancel, if we divide numerator and denominator, we get this, we get this formula. Again, we want to arrive at the equities better. So equivalent to this, equivalent to this is this, is this red formula of the equities better equal to the assets better times this number, which again signifies a non-diversifiable portion of a company's financial risk. Thank you for watching.